I grew up in a little town in North Carolina called Wanit Cove. My family lived from paycheck to paycheck and I remember going to the mailbox and knowing what it looked like to have a bounce check. And I knew that money could cause a lot of stress because my parents argued about it. I always knew I didn't want that for my life. In college, I was a waitress and in my sophomore year, I accepted Christ and every night when I would count my tips, I knew that of that money, a certain amount had to go back to the church and it, it felt good to do that. I lived in Southern California for a number of years and you know where I lived and the, my income, I always thought of it very difficult to even do just a little bit. For me, it was a slow process of giving generously. I'd always question it a little bit and then several years ago, I started serving in stewardship uh, with the financial coaching team. I think for me, it's truly seeing what God has done in my life and the lives of others. But it is, it is difficult when life happens to stay f faithful and trust and continue down that path. Like right now, our air conditioner is broken and we're having to pay a ton of money next week to have that fixed. So it's much easier to give when things are going well and you know money's consistent, nothing's breaking down. Just like even in life, when there's hard things and hard decisions, take the first step and then the second step. I think once you start giving that you don't want to go back. It's really not about the money. It's about your heart and like Amy said, I think it's just taking those baby steps. You know, we've heard in the stewardship ministry so many stories of how God is blessed just by taking that initial baby step.